Ever wondered how to master the art of German conjugation? Well, wonder no more. Today we're taking a deep dive into the world of German present tense conjugation for both regular and irregular verbs. Conjugation, if you're not already familiar, is the process of changing a verb to agree with the subject of the sentence. It's like a puzzle piece that fits into the larger picture of a sentence, ensuring everything flows smoothly. In English we do this too, albeit more subtly. Think I run versus he runs. In German, this process is a bit more complex, but don't worry, it's nothing you can't handle. We'll cover all the bases, from the basics to the nitty-gritty details, making sure you understand how to form sentences in the present tense with ease. Ready to become a whiz at German conjugation? Let's get started! By the end of this video, you'll confidently conjugate German verbs in the present tense. Begin with regular verbs, the most straightforward category in German conjugation. When it comes to conjugating regular German verbs in the present tense, there's a simple formula you can follow. The process involves two steps, identifying the verb stem and then adding the appropriate ending. Let's take the verb spielen, which means to play. The verb stem is spiel, and we add different endings based on the subject. For ich or I, we add e, making it ich spiele. For du or you, we add c, changing it to du spielst. For er, c, s, which translate to he, she, it, we add t, as in er spielt. For wir or we, we add n, leading us to wir spielen. For ihr or you plural, we add t, making it ihr spielt. Finally, for sie or they, and the formal c, we add n, resulting in sie spielen and sie spielen. Remember, this pattern applies to all regular verbs. Let's try another one. Machen, which means to do. Following the same pattern, we get ich mache, du machst, er macht, wir machen, ihr macht, and sie machen. Now we encourage you to choose a regular verb and try conjugating it yourself. Pause the video if you need more time, and when you're ready, press play to continue. A quick tip to keep in mind. While German conjugation may seem intimidating at first, repetition is key. The more you practice, the more these patterns will start to feel like second nature. In the world of language learning, there's a saying that goes, a language is a castle you build one brick at a time. Each verb you learn and conjugate is another brick in your castle, so take pride in every new verb you master. Remember, practice makes perfect. Take time to practice conjugating these regular verbs. Now, venture into the world of irregular verbs. A bit more challenging but equally rewarding. Irregular verbs, or unregelmäßige Verben as they say in German, are a unique breed. Unlike their regular counterparts, these verbs don't follow the standard conjugation rules. They have their own patterns and quirks, making them a bit more challenging to master. But don't worry, we're going to tackle them together. Let's take a look at some examples. Consider the verb sehen, which means to see. In the present tense, it's conjugated as ich sehe, du siehst, er slash sie slash es sieht, wir sehen, ihr seht, sie sie sehen. Notice how the verb stem changes in the second and third person singular forms? That's the hallmark of an irregular verb. Here's another one. Fahren, which means to drive. It's conjugated as ich fahr, do fast, er slash sie slash es fahrt, wir fahren, ihr fahrt, sie sie fahren. Again, we see changes in the verb stem in the second and third person singular. Now it's your turn. Try to conjugate the verb essen, which means to eat. Pause here, give it a shot and then resume to check your answers. Got it? Great! The correct conjugation is each essay. Du ist, er slash sie slash es ist, wir essen, ihr est, sie sie essen. Remember, mastering irregular verbs is all about practice. The more you use them, the more familiar their patterns will become. And soon, you'll be conjugating them as effortlessly as the regular verbs. So don't shy away from these tricky verbs. Embrace them, practice them, and before you know it, you'll be crafting sentences with ease and confidence. In the world of language learning, there are no shortcuts. But with determination, practice, and a little bit of patience, you can conquer even the most challenging aspects of German grammar. Although irregular verbs require more practice, they will become easier over time. Conjugation can be tricky, and it's easy to make mistakes. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's dive right into some of the most common pitfalls learners encounter when conjugating German verbs, and how you can sidestep them. First up, confusing verb endings. 
This is a classic issue, especially with regular verbs. Remember each subject pronoun has a specific verb ending. It goes with e, do with est, er, c, s with t, and so on. It's easy to mix them up, but constant practice and repetition can help cement these endings in your mind. Next, overgeneralizing rules. It's tempting to apply the rules of regular verbs to irregular ones, but beware, irregular verbs march to the beat of their own drum. They have unique conjugation patterns that don't always follow the regular e so t endings. So keep an eye out for these exceptions and learn them individually. Third, neglecting the sai form. Sometimes learners focus so much on the informal do and i are forms that they forget about the formal sai. Remember, C is used in formal situations or when addressing a group of people and it always takes the N ending. Fourth, not practicing enough. Learning grammar rules is one thing, but nothing beats actual practice. Try conjugating verbs in different sentences and contexts. This will not only help you remember the conjugations better, but also understand when and how to use them. And lastly, being afraid of making mistakes. Yes, you heard it right. Making mistakes is part of the learning process. Don't let the fear of getting it wrong stop you from practicing. Remember, every mistake is a learning opportunity. So keep these pitfalls in mind when you're practicing your German conjugation. Be mindful of the subject pronouns. Don't overgeneralize the rules. Remember the CR form. Practice regularly and embrace your mistakes. Avoiding these common mistakes will significantly improve your German conjugation skills. Ready for a challenge? It's time for a quick practice exercise. We've reached the point where we put all the knowledge we've gathered so far into action. We're going to practice conjugating a few verbs in the present tense. Don't worry though, we'll keep it light and fun. First, let's take a regular verb. How about spielen, which means to play? Remember, regular verbs follow a specific pattern. Try conjugating it on your own. You can pause the video to give yourself some time, got it? Let's check. The conjugation should be ich spiele. Du spielst, er slash sie slash es spielt, wir spielen, ihr spielt, and sie sie spielen. If you got it right, excellent. If not, don't worry. It takes a little time and practice. Now let's move on to an irregular verb. Let's go with sehen, which means to see. Irregular verbs can be a bit tricky, but they're not impossible to master. Again, pause the video and give it a try. Ready? The conjugation for sehen should be, ich sehe, du siehst, er slash sie slash es sieht. Wir sehen, ihr seht, and sie sie sehen. If you got it right, give yourself a pat on the back. If not, remember it's all about practice and repetition. Let's do one more. This time we'll try a verb with a stem vowel change. How about sprechen, which means to speak? Take your time and remember the rules we discussed. Ready for the reveal? It should be, ich spreche, du sprichst, a slash sie slash es spricht, wir sprechen, ihr sprecht, and sie sie es sprechen. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. In fact, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And in time, these conjugations will come to you naturally. Well done! Practice exercises like this are a great way to reinforce what you've learned. You've made it to the end. Let's quickly recap what you've learned. We've covered a lot of ground, starting with the basics of German conjugation. You've now grasped how to conjugate regular verbs by finding the stem and adding the right ending. You've also dived into the world of irregular verbs, discovering how they can sometimes follow their own rules. But don't worry, with practice, they'll become second nature. We've also looked at some common mistakes and given you tips on how to avoid them. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. They're stepping stones to mastering the language. And let's not forget the practice exercises. They're your key to consolidating your learning and getting that conjugation right every time. Remember, mastering German conjugation is all about practice. Keep practicing and soon you'll be conjugating German verbs like a pro.